Hi, I'm Jamie Ruby from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking to me today. I really like the show a lot. <laughs> oh, um, interesting. I want your I want your background. <laughs> yeah. Like it's say? like you're in is Galaxy Quest your favorite sci-fi film of all time is mine. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them. Um, well, I wanted to talk a second about DJ, and obviously I'm not going to post this right away, but um, I assume that yes. he was sort of a way to maybe mirror Jeanette and kind of what happened. Can you talk a little bit about how her death affected the group and why you think she chose to in include DJ or Devin? I think she's kind of giving him this kind of twisted opportunity to redeem himself in my eyes. Um, and she is, you know, he is, I guess, the, you know, the, the confederate that she feels that she could trust because she has that leverage over him. Mm -hmm. um, whereas last time, yeah, obviously her confederate went so bad um with the girls that she didn't want to risk that again but i think it's this just horrible position she's put him in um it's almost like torture it's, it's torture right child torture yeah um and i was going to say he and i think he's like so desperate for her approval that yeah yeah, I was just to say, how does she kind of, I, I guess, rationalize to herself what she's doing to not just him, but the girls? Because he even says to her, you know, you're doing this on purpose. I didn't, you know, I didn't purposely hurt somebody. Okay. You know, I think there is those people like Paul Park and, you know, Vladimir Putin at the moment. Um, they really believe they're doing things for the right reasons. And, you know, there is a certain person for whom the idea of something is greater than um, the value of an individual kind of humanity. So, you know, they love humanity, but they don't like people very much. It's, it's that. And I think history is just littered with, you know, with people who, uh, you know, who build fortunes or companies um, or ideas who are very difficult um, people who are able to really um, what's, you know, compartmentalize the greater good, you know, uh, the, the ends justifies the means. There's plenty of people in all walks of life from politics to business to, you know, from ballet to that just believe, you know, that the ends justifies the means, you know, torturing. Is, is it really that different from what we do to child gymnasts? You know, probably not. Um, and yet, you know, we're now kind of aware of that, you know, children have been in these abusive, you know, parent-free zones where coaches, you know, did appalling things and fat shamed and bullied children, yeah. you know, so that they might win us a little gold medal at an Olympics. It's the same mentality. It's ignoring the 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 soul of the person, you know, for this greater good. It's the most dangerous aspect, I think, of that humans are capable of doing that. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And I look forward to hopefully a season three. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it. Bye. I did very much. So thank you. Great. Thank you.